Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another video. So, in this lesson, we're going to work on the tweaks and fixes for our options menu. So, in this video, I've got the graphics option script open because this is the main one that isn't working right. And I also have the options menu script open also. So pause the video and open both scripts if you haven't already done so and we'll move on to what needs fixing. So we'll begin in the graphic option script and we're going to scroll down to graphics quality settings and we're going to come to this first GUI group and the mistake in this is we shouldn't where we say current quality and current quality name we shouldn't have the times two on the second line so i'm just going to remove those times three and times two on the first lines they are both correct so now let's scroll down to anti-aliasing and as you can see i've got print current aa setting twice obviously the second one should be underscore current aa name and to just quickly change that in the comments and we're just going to save that off there and now we're going to come to the options menu and let's scroll down and we want to find this if statement if graphics options active double equals true and this wants to go at the very top of the function so options underscore option skin dot button dot font size <coughs> is going to equal underscore options menu font size divided by two let's close that line off we'll put this into the comments and we'll say i shall with this set button font size to equal <coughs> options menu font size divided by two and let's save that off there so let's downsize mono develop sorry not mono develop visual studio isn't it i you've uh, <laughs> all those years of using mono develop and uh, it's gonna take me a while of getting out of that habit i'm afraid so but now we're in the main menu let's hit options come to graphics options so let's have a look at this so now we are displaying the current AA settings 0, 2, 4 and 8 so that is working well this part is still incorrect so current quality let's come back to this let's come to graphics options 
So let's have a little look at this. Zero. Let's just get rid of of the times two in current quality and we'll just set times two in the label. Let's save that off. In fact it should be the same here. So let's have a little look. Let's come back. Oh, I can see the problem now. So this should be options, what do you call it, sub button height. That is the reason it was looking incorrect. So Heather will change that out to sub button. So let's save that off. As you can see, I um, <coughs> just controlled Z. I put the times two and times three back as it were. So that I think should fix this up. Let's come to maximize and we'll just let this run through again. Just come to options, graphics options and great. So everything is now where it should be. The font now fits in the boxes. But you can see a little problem here. We're printing the selected name, which for graphics quality is fine. Shadows is fine. And also shadow resolution. But we have a little problem here with the anti-aliasing quality. It says current AA settings is zero to four and eight on current settings which is correct but just having the number there doesn't look quite professional so we're going to fix that up and luckily this is actually fairly simple to set up so first we'll need to come to the top of the script and I actually put this with the other strings, so we'll say private string and we'll just call it underscore selected AA equals and we'll use a blank string again. Same comment creates an empty string to store the selected AA and you can put this anywhere you like underneath um, I'll put it here for now I may move it but private string <coughs> and we're going to open and close the square type of brackets so please make sure that's correct. Underscore. And let's have a look. So underscore MSAA name. No, sorry. Let's change this. We're going to give this a new name of underscore double A names. 
we'll create a new string so equals new string open and close square type of brackets then we'll go to open and close our normal type of brackets and in fact we can actually copy from the enum msaa names let's paste that in we'll get rid of the numbers they are not required and we'll put these in the little speech marks so the comma on the end is the same as an enum <coughs> which means we'll have a comma on the first three in this case and the last one we don't need a comma we'll come to the close brackets we'll just close the line off and now we'll come down to anti-aliasing so we'll leave this line in current AA name equals quality settings and a listening to string and we'll create a series of if statements if open and close brackets inside the brackets underscore <coughs> excuse me current aa name double equals zero dot and because this is a string but we've got a numerical value here we'll have to cast it to a string as well so we just put dot to string and we open and close brackets again into the comments if and we'll just say current AA name equals zero come to the next line and we're going to say selected AA equals underscore AA names the square type of brackets again and inside those brackets we're going to put a zero and then close the line off we'll get this into the comments we'll say then set selected AA to equal zero in AA names. In fact, we'll just use the name of the variable. So what we're saying here is if current AA equals zero, which if we come to the disable button, we're doing quality settings anti-aliasing. We're setting AA names to zero, which is the first one in the string. Works exactly the same as enum. This is zero, and then we go one, two, three. now if i come down and we'll copy and paste that if block so if we look at msaa times two button it says set anti-aliasing to two so the first line if current aa name equals two change that in the comments we want to equal msaa2 which is the number one now in the string so we set that to one and let's just copy and paste both of those so if current aa equals four we want the next one in the string which is 2 and then times 8 so here where it says 8 we'll change it 4 to 8 and then we want the last one which is 3 in the string so 
obviously you can see the strings here, 0, 1, 2, 3, which gives us 4, <laughs> and our AA amounts of 0, 2, 4, 8. So here where we, we just actually fix this line where we say current AA name, we can now change that to selected AA and we'll change it in the comments as well. And we just downsize that, we'll hit play again and we'll let it run through. Let me just maximize the screen so we can have a look. Again, we'll let it run through. We'll hit options, graphics options. So, as you can see, the current AA name now displays as MSAA times 8. And if we hit disabled, it says disabled. And the MSAA times 2, 4, and 8. So, and we can now see everything displaying. I'll just set those to the maximum. Let's just run through that again. And we'll just check how everything's working on restart. So, we'll need to fix that. I'm sure I set it to very high. Ultra's correct, MSAA times A is correct. All shadows. We'll just check the shadow. So I set it to very high this time, so let's just see if it's saved that correctly. So now it's reverted back to the previous setting of high. So we'll fix that in the next lesson. And we'll also begin hopefully to start to fix the spacing on this screen because obviously the font here is very small. The button's going off screen, but it is shaping up a lot better now. So I'll just stop that. And as I say, we've still got enough, a few other things to do to fix up this script. But we'll pick that up in the very next lesson. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.